Welcome to Host Coaching 101. My name is Connie Ashburn and I am the National Field Development Director for Pink Zebra. You are taking this training, I would guess, for one of two reasons. One, that you've entered the world of party plan and you wanna be good at it. I'm sure you will find this training valuable because host coaching is one of the greatest skills you can develop in order to have a successful party plan business. What I love about doing parties is that they create an opportunity for you to earn money when you want to and when you need to. Most consultants earn on average $150 to $200 or more at a party, so party because it makes financial sense and will help you achieve your financial goals. The second reason may be that you've been doing parties and you want better results. What you do before the party becomes as important as what you do at the party. Planning for a successful party rather than just waiting to see what happens will absolutely change everything for you, and I hope that you can pick up a few tips that will enhance your host coaching skills and your experience. If you plan to have a successful party plan business, learning the skills of good host coaching is important for present and future business. When you get guests there, magic happens. Doing a party in front of 10 guests instead of one or two is a whole lot more fun for everyone attending and more valuable for you and your host. When people are present, you have a greater chance of booking future parties and finding new team members in addition to the sales that you're going to generate. Just let's, let's explore what is, going to, what is going to get you the results that every party that you do. At Pink Zebra, we have two types of live parties, traditional and blend bash. Traditional parties you've probably been to or you've held if you were ever in this kind of business before Pink Zebra. Typically, the consultant arrives, sets up products, guests show up, you do a presentation, and everyone orders once the presentation is over. Blend bashes are our newest party offering, which really differs greatly from a traditional party. To learn more about Blend Bashes, visit the Blend Bash section in your back office and review the videos and resources available to you there. But in a nutshell, Blend Bashes are yielding stronger results in terms of sales and host rewards as well as bookings. The major factor is the number of guests attending the party. This brilliant party type takes away the longer presentation and presents the products in a more interactive and fun way for guests. The key is the little pink box that you see in the corner of this slide that shows the bash box, which is really your party supplies box. This box is pre-purchased by the guests before the party, and then they attend because they've made that investment up front and they need to bring the box to this interactive DIY type party to fill the blending bags that are part of the bash box. They're also receiving four samples of our products that are basically free. Plus, setup is literally for you about five minutes, saving you time and earning you more per hour because you're spending less time at your host's home. Guests can then order more sprinkles and warming products while they're there, which increases your sales and certainly rewards for your host. Our consultants are experiencing tremendous results in terms of higher sales, greater host rewards, a chance to recruit, and of course, rebooking of parties. So you as a consultant just need to decide which type of party that you really want to hold. The Blend Bash does require an upfront investment that is offset when you pre-sell those bash boxes, but does yield stronger results as we already shared. For this host coaching training, I'm really going to talk in general terms about host coaching and would encourage you to go through Bash Camp as part of the Pink Zebra Academy training that really trains specifically to the Blend Bash concept and will help you to reach those higher results. Once your host books a date, what's next? Be sure to have host packets made up in advance that can be handed to guests when they book or sent to a host if you're booking your party over the phone or through social media. Set the party up in your back office or use the new host now option where your host can book with you by visiting your personal website. Setting parties up using the host now option is just an easier process for everyone. You must set up your calendar, however, as a consultant ball before offering this choice to your customers so that the dates that you are available to party are clear. There is a training in the consultant how-to section of the Pink Zebra Academy if you're unsure how to set that calendar up. So confirm the party date via text once you've got it booked just to be sure that they have it on their calendar. I would then recommend that you also set up a Facebook event as a means to create excitement for the guests being invited. You can share some product tips and ideas before the party ever begins. I would not recommend inviting guests to the party with a Facebook invite, however. 
guests will respond more positively to a personal invitation from the host, whether by text or by phone, and invitations can be sent, but a follow-up call to see if they will attend is key. If you are doing a, a blend bash, personal communication is what is going to sell those, pre-sell those bash boxes. With a blend bash, you're really targeting 10 specific people that make that bash box purchase, where a traditional party may require more invitations to get you to the 10 that you're shooting for. So here's a list of what typically is included in a host packet, one to two catalogs, and you may even want to highlight a few of your favorite items. The host planning guide that's available in the back office and we're going to talk about in this training. It can also be mailed with your packet or emailed if you're, if you're doing it over the phone. You've got to include a join brochure, so it just begins planting the seed about joining your team. A bingo game, which is also available in the back office and is certainly optional, but it showcases the activities that are really going to reap stronger results in all areas to really get to a successful party. And lastly, your order forms. I would recommend an example of how to fill out the form to ensure that you get all the information needed to process that outside order correctly. Guests can order online as well, but some may just want to do it the old-fashioned way and shop from the catalog. Sharing the 10 plus 3 plus 3 formula will help you to strive for that $1,000 party which earns you more money and absolutely thrills your host with all they earn for free and discounted products. Just think when you have a $1,000 party in SV, you're earning about $322. The 10 plus 3 plus, form, plus 3 formula means 10 guests at the party, three orders before the party, and three orders after the party. This formula doesn't guarantee $1,000 in sales, but it certainly is going to get you closer or right on target. It's something you can easily share with your host as the roadmap to a successful party. And with 10 guests, you have a great chance of booking two parties and finding one interested prospect on average. When you're holding $1,000 parties regularly, your financial rewards can be in the $500 to $600 a month with just two to three parties a month. So, and so much more, of course, is possible if you decide that you can do more than that. Your host checklist is your next important tool. It will help you stay in contact with your host and ensure that you're covering the important points of having a successful party. This is too important to leave to chance and to your memory of what you have or have not covered with your host. So as soon as you book the party, print a host checklist out and record the key information about the host and uh, party information. Then set up your schedule in terms of when you're going to communicate with your host right away. Your first call should be about two weeks in advance of the party, and blend bashes do need to be booked at least two weeks in advance and three weeks in Canada, so your host coaching could begin a little earlier than two weeks if you're doing blend bashes. The DSA did a study of past hosts for many party plan companies, and their number one complaint was that their consultant did not stay in touch with them enough. So your commitment to good and consistent contact with your host will be appreciated, I can assure you. The host planning guide is your next greatest resource. There's all kinds of information here that will make your job easier in helping your host understand and plan for a successful party. We have a host planning guide both for traditional and blend bashes, so make sure you use the appropriate one for the type of party that you've booked. Page one of the guide just shares basic party tips that will help them have a more successful party and certainly help you to work smarter and not harder. Moving on to page two covers the ever important wish list. Spend time exploring the catalog with your host and make sure they understand the value in hosting with our rewards program. Go through the catalog and have your host complete their wish list and ask where in their home their decorative products are going to go. Fragrances that evoke memories and help them to imagine the smells and decor in their home is going to do nothing but help them visualize those products being there. The more you connect them to the products, the harder your host is going to work to get guests there to really maximize their rewards. The next page of the guide goes through the ever important guest list and who's on the list and who they're most excited about being there is, is key to you. Explore different circles of friends with them in their life and how they can connect with them. Most parties cancel because the list never gets generated and the invite process just doesn't happen. So protect against that by helping them brainstorm and to get really excited about who they're inviting. The fourth page of the guide uh, for the blend bash is specific to getting those 10 guests and pre-selling those bash boxes. So if you are doing a blend bash, 
make sure you're using the blend bash host planning guide because that fourth page will become very key. When you're ready to make your host coaching calls, be prepared. Have your host checklist and your planning guide in front of you. Know what you're going to touch on for that call. Or if you're doing text messages, if that works better for a particular host, that's okay too. I will tell you that personal communication is best because that's where your relationship begins to form before you ever walk in their home. Be confident in sharing what works. Smile when you're talking because we know that works. And always come from a place of servitude, meaning that you are there to create a great experience for your host with every dealing with you. Make them feel special and that they matter to your business. When you focus on them completely and let them know that you're there to create a great experience for them and their friends, they're going to be more excited and confident and motivated to get people there because they know that you're going to take care of them and that you care. You should go into every party with goals in mind. Even if you fall short of some of the goals, what you do to prepare for the party and do at the party will help you reach your goals more consistently. So certainly by doing good host coaching, it's going to show your host that you take your business seriously. Getting those attendees there is critical to the success of any party. So the 10 plus 3 plus 3 formula works. Certainly empower your host on that regard to collect those additional orders before the party and after the party. And in the case of a blend bash, to actually pre-sell those bash boxes. Your confidence in that process will help increase their confidence as well. So sharing word choices so your, for, your host invites with confidence and certainly shares the fun factor of the party. And if you are doing a blend bash, the fun of blending while at the party and the shortness on presentation is going to get guests excited about being there. Booking two parties at every party is important because that is what's going to keep you in business. So again, if you get 10 guests there, the chances of you booking two are pretty consistent. And never forget to invite your host to join your team because if hopefully they've had a really great party experience with you and they can see themselves sharing these products and doing parties like this in their future. And hopefully you'll find at least one more prospect at every party if your host isn't one of them. So you can continue to build your team and share the love of Pink Zebra with others through others. My advice, practice these techniques to create confidence. The skill of host coaching is often overlooked and yet can provide the greatest yield when you're good at it. Don't be afraid to ask questions, share what works, and set expectations for your hosts. They will appreciate it and so will you with great party averages. I hope that this training helps you to reach the financial rewards and the team building opportunities of having a of strong party results. Good luck.